Hello, Chaparral Debate Parents. I am so excited that your student is participating in policy debate this year at Chaparral High School. I have a lot of exciting things to share with you, but the main thing is this is an informational video that lets you know a little bit about their syllabus, about transportation requirements, and my goals for this class, as well as my contact information without you having to read a long paper or a really long syllabus. So let's get to it. First of all, who I am, I've been involved with policy debate for 13 to 14 years now, and I have a lot of experience that I'm really excited to share with your kids. Second, I have some goals for this class, and these goals are, I, I primarily want your students to develop critical thinking skills, public speaking skills, analysis skills, organization in the process of pre preparation for debate tournaments, and I like to win and I hope you, your kids win and they are successful. Now, my contact information should be on the Google form that prompted you to watch this video. So if your students have not shared with you that Google form, this is really important. This is an emergency contact form and it's in a Google form format. This form will give me information such as your home phone number, your cell phone, and your email address so that I can contact you in the event of an emergency or if there are any changes or details that you need to know related to upcoming tournaments or in the process of us traveling home from a tournament. Now, here's the deal. Tournaments are the most important part of debate. Um, the culmination of all your students' work in our classroom happens at a debate tournament. Now, keep in mind, I do not grade your students based on how well they do performance-wise against other students at these tournaments because it's a luck of the draw kind of situation. And all of the students are at a different place skill level-wise. But what I'm looking for is that they grow at these tournaments and that they enjoy themselves and have fun doing it. Um, my main goal is that they attend. So 40% of their grade is attendance to these tournaments. And to get an A and get all 40%, of that credits out of the of the 100% in the class, they will have to attend four tournaments to get an A. So each of those tournaments represent a 10% value, essentially. The other important thing is our home tournament. They get 10% of their grade based on their attendance at our home tournament that we host. They don't participate as far as competing, but they participate by timekeeping, hall monitoring, and those kinds of things. So this is another very important thing, and they might even ask you to be their judge. The next piece is clothing requirements. The typical clothing requirement for a debate tournament is business professional. You can get away with business casual such as slacks, tie, and a shirt, a, a button-up shirt, and some dress shoes, but that's the bare minimum requirements for attending a debate tournament. It's best that the person wears their business professional clothing, which is usually a suit and tie of some sort. Transportation, I will always give the leave time to the students in advance so they will know when they're supposed to be there, whether it's a tournament during the school week or on Saturdays. Saturdays are really early leave times. The tournaments start at 8 o'clock in the morning, and we like to be there by 7 o'clock so that we can claim stake to a table and have plenty of time to get ready. This could mean that we would leave as early as 5.30 in the morning. And I'm sorry about that early time, but I'm also really thankful that you're willing to drive your kids to the school that early in the morning. And I really do appreciate that. And I promise you I'll be there ready to go. Now, on the way back, I will have the students text you or call you, letting you know what time we will be back at Chaparral so that those students can be picked up. And only under special permission, when a parent has communicated to me that it is okay or I talk to them on the cell phone, for the student to ride with another student, I will allow that to happen. As per our, our rules at Chaparral, we have to have permission from the parent in advance before that is allowed. So I will not let your students ride home with anyone else, and I will make sure that they contact you, letting you know what time we will be at Chaparral and ready for the student to be picked up. With that, on the form for the emergency contact information, rather than just clicking yes, I want you to say anything under the add other option so that I know that you watched this video and your students didn't just fill this out for you. Thank you, have a great day.